exercise one. The pressure exercise one is related to MCQs, the multiple choice question that you will solve as a homework. Uh, this one is, this, these are the structure questions. So the first one, an archaeologist is investigating a shipwreck and discovered a wooden box on a seabed. So there is a wooden box which is there on the seabed. The dimension of a lid of a box is 1.2 by 0 0.8. So this one is 1.2 and this one is 0 0.8. The atmospheric pressure, the pressure of the atmosphere, that is one exponent five or 100,000 Pascal. The lid is 15 meter below. That is like this lid is 15 meter below the sea level. The density of a sea water is 1,020 kilogram per meter cube. Calculate the pressure on the lid due to sea water only. Like we don't need the total. If they ask for total pressure, then it will be the atmosphere plus the liquid. But as we don't only need the pressure on the lid due to sea water. So pressure on the lid due to sea water is equals to density, gravity and depth. The density of a sea water is how much? That is 1020. When you're solving a question, always first thing, write a formula. Gravity, you can take 9.8 or you can take 10. What about the depth? How much deep is there? It's below the surface, 15 meter. So we multiply by 15. So what is the pressure due to liquid? How much is this? Uh, so it's 153,000. So 153,000 Pascal. That's a pressure due to the liquid. The next part, they ask to calculate the total pressure. Now they ask for total pressure. So how to work out total pressure? The pressure due to the liquid was 153,000 Pascal. So 153,000 Pascal is the pressure of the liquid. And the pressure of the atmosphere is 100,000 Pascal. How we can work out the total pressure? This is the pressure of the liquid. This is the pressure of atmosphere. What will the total pressure which experience so the total pressure will be equal to the liquid pressure plus the atmospheric. The liquid pressure is 153,000 Pascal and the pressure of atmosphere is 1 exponent 5 or 100,000 Pascal. So when you sum, it will be 253,000 Pascal. How we know the atmospheric pressure is 100,000 Pascal because it's given here that this is 1 exponent 5 the pressure of the atmosphere is 1 exponent 5. 1 exponent 5 means it's equivalent to 100,000 Pascal. Is it uh, clear, this part, the total pressure? Yes, sir, clear. It's not necessary to remember atmospheric pressure. The reason is that because only at the sea level, the atmospheric pressure is constant. Otherwise, it changes. So you don't have to memorize atmospheric pressure. It, that will be given in the question. The next part, we need the downward force. The total downward force. So now we know the total pressure was how much? So the total pressure was 200. And 53,000 Pascal. That's the total pressure, which is equal to atmosphere plus liquid. And what about the area of this? The surface area? So this will be length into width. So it will be 1.2 into 0 0.8. So 1.2 into 0 0.8. That will give us the base area. So we want to calculate the force. We have the formula pressure is force divided by area. The pressure is equal to 253,000. And the base area is length into width. So the surface area here, 1.2 into 0 0.8. So that is divided. Other side, it will be multiplied because we need the force. So it will be 253,000 times 1.2 into 0 0.8. What's the answer for the force?
how much force experienced by this uh, wooden box at its surface? Uh, so, Mister, it's two four two, eight hundred eighty. So two forty two thousand eight hundred and eighty newtons. That is a force. That is a force which is experienced. So multiply one point two into zero point eight to get the area. And then area multiplied by pressure, we get the force. The next one suggests uh, the force needed to open the lid is not equal to the calculated value. Suggest two reasons for that. What might be the two reasons? Like we calculated the force which we need to open this is 242,880 Newton. We calculate the force which we need to open it is this much. Like basically if 242,880 Newton is downward, how much force I need to open it? I need minimum this much force. But practically the force which we need to open this will be much higher than this value. What is the reason for that? Or what might be a reason for that? Like so this, sir, it can be the waves will increase the... The change in depth, okay, that is one reason. Due to the wave, the depth might change, the force might change. What else? Like the total downward force is 242,880 Newton. The question is, if I want to open this, I have to apply more, I have to apply a different force to open this, not the same force. What is the reason for that? The water resistance, that is also a good answer. That, because we did not include any resistance of a water, like we are opening this lid in the water. So water will also try to stop this motion so we need a more force than what is actually we just calculated the force on it we didn't when we try to open the water will also resist the motion so there will be a force of the water as well to which resist the motion what else that is also a good answer water resistance what might be another answer reason so another reason there might be some trap air inside the wood, wooden box. And that air also might push the box upward. Another reason, there is a weight of, we did not include the weight of a lid. We only calculated the force from the water, but there's also a weight of the lid which is acting downward. So we have practically, we have to lift the lid as well. Like we have to apply a force to remove the lid or again, move the lid, that's why. The practically the force which we need will be higher than what we calculated. Sand could have deposited on the chest. That is also a reason. That's right. So many valid answers are there for this. Yeah, there can be a vacuum inside the box or there might be air inside the box that will uh, both consider as same. Like either you mention vacuum or you mention air. Look, if there is an air present in the box, then what happens is air will also apply a force upward. So it makes it easy for us to lift it. Because we are saying what are the potential reasons why the force which we applied might be different from what we calculated. Like practically, it will always be different. So you can mention even, even it also depends because it's also a turning effect. When we are opening a lid, it's a turning effect. So it also depends on from point where we apply a force. Maybe we apply a force from this end 
or we apply a force from the center or we apply a force near the pivot. So the point or the position where we apply the force that can produce different turning effects like or to produce a same turning effect if I want to apply a force. If I change the distance from a pivot, I have to apply different force. So the position or the point where the force is applied that may affect the value of the force. So many reasons are there. It's not only one. There are many reasons for that. Yeah, you can mention weight of a lid which oppose because we calculated the force from the atmosphere and liquid, but there's also a weight of the lid and we have to lift the lid as well. So weight of the lid, that is also right. The next question, we have a rectangular container which is having a base of a dimension. So there's a rectangular container. So the dimensions are 0 0.12 and 0 0.16 or it can be other way around as I did not mention. And the mass of a contain mass of a liquid inside, there's a liquid inside the container. So that mass is 4.8. The question is what is the weight? How to get the weight? Weight is mass into gravity. So 4.8 times 10, gravity is 10. So when we multiply it is 48 Newton. So there will be a weight 48 Newton acting downward. The pressure due to the liquid. Now how to calculate, pre look, pressure due to a liquid we can calculate by density, gravity and depth. But in this question we don't have the density, we don't have the depth, that's why we cannot use this formula. So you can also use the same formula that pressure is force divided by area. What about the force? The force is equals to weight of the object. So weight of the liquid is 48. And what about the area? The base area is 0 0.12 into 0 0.16. So 48 divided by the area. What's the answer? 48 divided by 0.1 into 0.16. What's the answer for this? So Mr. 2,500. So 2,500 and the unit of the pressure is Pascal. So it is 2,500 Pascal. Then again, a similar question, explain why the total pressure on the base of a container is greater than what we calculated. Like we calculated that on the base, So we calculated the pressure on the base will be 2,500 Pascal. But in reality or in practical, uh, like pressure due to the liquid on the base is 2,500 Pascal. But in practical, it will be more than 2,500 Pascal. Why? So what is the reason for that? No, not about error, like practical reason. Don't, you know, you're not supposed to mention error in the value. You have to mention a reason for that. The reason here is, no, no, it's, there is a, the question is, the total pressure on the base of a container is greater than the value we calculated. Like there is a container which is filled with a liquid. We calculated that the, this liquid, you cannot mention the weight of the container here because the pressure is due to the liquid. The pressure due to the liquid is 2,500 Pascal on the base. The question is why actual pressure will be much higher than 2,500 Pascal or greater. So what is the reason for that? The reason is 
because there is another pressure that is the pressure of atmosphere. If the liquid evaporates, the depth of the liquid will change, the pressure will decrease, it won't increase. So the, I, the answer here, because there is a pressure from the air or you can say there is an atmospheric pressure is also acting on the liquid. So the total pressure on the base will be equal to the liquid pressure plus the atmospheric pressure. So due to the atmospheric pressure, the total pressure on the base of the liquid will be much higher than what we have calculated. We just calculated the liquid pressure, but in reality, it's a liquid pressure plus the atmospheric pressure. 